Pisces, welcome to your end of October 2021 General Tarot Update. It's Raina here. So I'm I'm just starting over again. Um, I just laid out the cards. I hadn't really gotten all that far. I started this, this one. This is the Heart of the Matter card, the Page of Pentacles. And this is a card of a message about money, a message about work. Sometimes this can be the early stages of work or um, it's also the card of the student. So even like getting a little um, lump sum of money that enables you to go to school or other things. And um, if you are starting your own business, it might indicate that as well. And we have in the past position the Knight of Cups. Actually, the cards on the top row to me really speak about um, communications and offers. This can be an offer that is given to you. Um, now, an example would be, let's say you have wanted to go to school and maybe it's going back to school. And even though you're an adult and you live away from home, your parents say, um, you know, like, oh, you, you will, like they try to make a deal with you or something, you know, um, we'll do this for you. And, and, uh, they, they give you an offer that you can't refuse. Um, this can be like, um, a, a person who is romantic, who, who's coming into your life, who has recently come into your life. And, um, here we have another one. Start spreading the news. How many times am I going to use that as my my title? Um, the higher message is the page of wands, which is good news. Um, I'm I don't read this necessarily as predictive cards. Just talking about um, what m the flavor of what may be going on. So this may be involved with some kind of a um, news that you receive that makes you very happy because you are, um, maybe this is something that you have been waiting to hear. And like, so the page of pentacles, for instance, could be, you got accepted into an, a university. Um, and you received some kind of an offer, maybe even like a financial offer, a uh, scholarship or something along those lines. Or, um, if this is relationship related, um, you hear back from someone that you have had the hots for, you know, the page of wands is very hot and heavy. It's, it's, um, a passionate card. It's like, but you know, the thing is too, that there's romantic energy and there's solid energy with the pentacles and the cups. It's both, um, something that has the potential to last with the pentacles, it's earth energy. And then with the uh, cups can be a connection of the heart chakra. You are water and the cups is water. And so you may feel, and maybe this person's water as well, and they get you, they understand what makes you tick. But the page of wands is like, are you going, don't treat it like an affair because then you will get that kind of treatment back to you. So in other words, page of wands can be, you know, something that starts very quickly that has a physical component to it. To me, the, pa the page of pentacles and the knight of cups is taking things slowly, um, feeling into things, being romantic, enjoying the romance, not being so in need of, Let's, you know, get busy. Let's jump the gun here. And if you are a Pisces, a sun in Pisces, and you have um, Mars and Aries, um, you may, and even like, you know, a, like a hard angle between the moon and Mars, you may have a very um, impatient kind of a demeanor, even though you're a Pisces, and you may be like, let's just get on with things. And it's like that that could end up um, making it just an affair instead of something that you really want. What crosses you is the Queen of Cups. 
this card I think is connected to cancer and is very psychic and also a card of motherhood as well as being an artist. In the challenge position, it can be that this is something that you risk not having. So um, given if this is something personal to you, if this is like a relationship related thing, now if it is, it would be something that you're already aware of. It's not something that would just come out of the blue. And if that's the case, um, and you don't treat you don't treat this as a serious thing. If you act like it's a fling, you'll be treated like it's a fling. And then uh, the things that you want, if you want to become a mother, if you want to have a a person that you can love very deeply, it's being forfeited really because. Um, you're just treating it like the page of wands could be just treating it like um, an affair, something that burns very brightly, but then is over with very quickly. And, and I'm not saying that everything that's passionate eventually fades. I'm not saying that this is just a, you know, general reading and, and stuff like that. But um, I think you know what I mean. And by the way, even if you're a male, the queen of cups can be about becoming a parent. Um, and obviously that would be directed only to people of a certain age group, but even older people who are looking for love, the point is, is that cups connect with love. Wands connect with lust. And, you know, passion doesn't have to be lust. It can be, I'm very excited to see you. I really missed you. I have so much fun with you and stuff like that. So I don't want to make it just sound like it's um, that kind of thing. But if this is related to anything to do with like work matters or school and stuff like that with the Page of Pentacles, I want you to consider, and it does, I don't care if you're 18 or if you are 28 or 38 and you are in college. I want you to think about what it is that you really want to do. Because if you're doing something that you are kind of half-hearted about, um, it's like the Queen of Cups is in the challenged position and it goes against your better nature. It goes against your intuition of what it is. For some of you, I mean... I, I, I would just almost joke and say all of you because you're like the Queen of Cups, male or female. This is a very receptive, per perceptive uh, influence. And if you are like this, you are the kind of person who is very um, like, uh, how would I put it, um, interested in the matter, matters of the heart, and that can include spiritual healing and creative pursuits. So if you like are trying to do something for the money, it's going to probably take you down the wrong path. I can't say that 100% of the time. Maybe for some people, it's a necessary process that you have to go through. I don't know. But it seems to me that of all the signs Pisces is the sign that has these natural gifts and the world needs more healers, not less healers, more artists, not less. We need inspiration. We need um, intuitive people. We don't need more people who are service to self rather than service to others. Uh, what is coming in is the temperance card, and that is one foot in water, one foot on land the balance between the spiritual and the material. And certainly that's what this reading is all about. The, the cups represent the water or the spiritual, the pentacles represent the material. And so can you do it? Of course you can. Um, some of you may say, yeah, but if I do something that's spiritual, I can't charge for it. Well, that's a personal choice. I do think that, um, if you live in integrity, it will follow you wherever you go. 
And, uh, you know, of course, none of us are perfect specimens necessarily, but we try. If we're coming from an authentic place, we're not going to have to um, be something we're not. And um, I really feel, and it's funny because the temperance card is connected to, I really want to show you the, the word temperance, um, is connected to uh, Sagittarius. And um, in my November forecast, I talk about when the sun and Mercury go into Sag and Venus has already been in Sag Sagittarius. This is your 10th house of career. So um, I feel like, for a lot of you, this is this kind of choice that you have to make. And, um, you know, a lot of people right now are making the choice of how, what are they willing to do to make money? Because we've had a lot of shutdowns and we've had a lot of, um, you know, things going on that where people are not necessarily acting the way that they used to act, that they're not as on that hamster wheel. And that was part of, you know, some, some energy, uh, readers believe that that was the reason, the cosmic reason for the shutdown, even if the people who did it, you know, don't, they were kind of almost like useful idiots in the sense of God uh, because that allowed people to slow down enough to see exactly what they were doing with their life, life. And that, that is invaluable because, you know, now that things have opened up, it's human nature to want to just be busy doing things, whatever it is. And yet, um, it has left an indelible mark on many people this time that they had off where they, even if they wanted to, they couldn't do anything. And, um, you know, it, it, isn't it true that when we're going through something and it feels like such an ordeal because we feel so powerless, we don't see the benefit of it or it's, or, or we might see it intellectually, but we can't really feel it. And in retrospect, we look back and say, wow, that was really um, a turning point of humanity, you know? So um, <laughs> funny, funny that this is the uh, card I got for the um, outcome, the world card. So the world uh, card is the final card of um, the major arcana. So it does signify the end of something, the end of an era. And for you, Pisces, this could relate to travel, world travel, because I did, as I stated, I have done your November horoscope and it does feature the ninth house where Scorpio resides. So that might be something that has been in the works. And maybe that page of pentacles is the money to be able to take a trip and Perhaps for some, it could be if you're not from the place where you're living now, you might be going back home, if only for a visit. But um, whatever it is that you're doing, it can be a time of discovery for you. And that is the important thing. Whatever it is that you're doing, um, keep an open mind and... Um, allow yourself to absorb any lessons that come through. I think that, I think that your, um, ruler Neptune is going direct like December 1st or something like that. So while Neptune has been retrograding a lot of Pisces people, and this has been for the past, I don't know, five months or so. I don't remember when it went retrograde, but you may have been feeling a bit of disillusionment, a bit of like, not sure if your dreams can come true and when Neptune goes direct on December 1st, you may feel more hopeful. You may feel like, um, you're not just getting this constant reality check. Reality checks are important. Don't get it twisted, but we need to dream too. That's a big thing. So anyway, I hope that you, uh, related to this 
Pisces, and if you would like a private reading, I am primarily an astrologer, and yet I do private tarot readings as well if you like those better, but I do have a combination reading with uh, chart analysis and um, the tarot called the Whole Enchilada for a sale price, as well as a double astrology reading called the Deep Dive and other readings. You can find out more information at the link below. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of October. I'm hoping and I'm believing that it's going to be a doozy. We shall see, won't we? Take care.